it's a warmer day today, but it was still pretty pleasant all the same. And we'll have a quiet night on the way as well with temperatures a little bit warmer than what we had last night. We'll go low 50s in many locations, some upper 40s out there on occasion. It'll also be a quiet and calm night. But as we go into your day on Wednesday, the wind starts to pick up a little bit. Nothing too bad yet, but we also have one other thing to watch. Showers and thunderstorms develop West River. We'll talk about that and the rest of your 70 forecast coming up. But until then, first at four starts right now. Live from Kelloland Media Group, Kelloland News first at four. Minnesota will soon have tougher gun control measures as a public safety bill heads to the governor's desk. Plus, did you notice some haze in the sky this morning? We'll show you where the smoke is coming from. And later, the bike trails in Sioux Falls are getting busier. What rules to keep in mind before you hit the path? Good afternoon, and thanks for tuning in to First and Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. The 2015 Harrisburg school shooter is back in court today, finding out if he'll spend more time behind bars for a domestic assault case. Mason Buell pleaded no contest to the domestic assault charge out of Hughes County. A number of other charges, including rape, were dropped in the plea deal. In 2017, Buell received a 25-year suspended sentence after pleading guilty to attempted murder for the school shooting. As long as he did not engage in any violent behavior, he would not have to serve prison time. However, the case was reopened following the assault charge. Last month, Buell was sentenced to 10 years in prison for a probation violation. A 43-year-old Sioux Falls woman is behind bars in connection with a road rage incident. Police say the suspect, Oksana Sisa, was tailgating another vehicle. Authorities say a person in that vehicle made a rude gesture. That's when officers say Sisa followed the victim to their house. Police say there were some punches thrown before Sisa allegedly tried to drive her car toward the victim. The victim was able to get out of the way. Law enforcement say in these road rage incidents, it's best to not escalate the situation. You know, the best thing to do is people, they can just let it go. I mean, there's bad drivers everywhere. Uh, it may give you a, a small sense of satisfaction to honk your horn or yell at somebody or you know, give, them, give them a finger, but it's not going to solve anything. And usually what that does is it elevates things. CISA was arrested on assault and resisting arrest charges. She was released this afternoon on a PR bond. Las Vegas Aces head coach Becky Hammond has been suspended for two games for violating respect in the workplace policies. Hammond was suspended without pay after a months-long investigation stemming from former player Derricka Hamby's allegation that she was bullied and manipulated for being pregnant. Hammond is originally from Rapid City. The WNBA also rescinded the Aces' first-round pick in the 2025 draft for violating league rules regarding impermissible player benefits. That was in connection with the negotiations for an extension for Hamby's player's contract, and she had signed a two-year extension last June. Hamby was traded in January to the Los Angeles Sparks. Oh, it was a good day to sit outside and enjoy yeah, the weather. I got a lot done this morning. Yeah? yeah. What kind of stuff did you do? All kinds of outdoor activities. Okay. Mowing the lawn, fertilizing. Yeah. Good day for it, Adam. It really is a great day for just about anything to be outside for any amount of time. Just as long as you pace yourself. We are getting warmer out there, so you want to keep that in mind. But with conditions like what we had today, yeah, it's tempting to be outside for a while. We'll start along Lake Madison this time around. 77 with a westerly breeze at 15 miles per hour. It would be a very nice day to be on the water if you had the chance to do so. Meanwhile, closer to home, blue sky skies above Falls Park. Look at that beautiful green grass there at the park. 79 at the airport, a northwesterly breeze at 15 miles per hour. It has honestly been just such a nice day. 77 Brookings, Watertown and Marshall. 74 Jet Tour Chamberlain, 76 in Pier, 72 Spearfish, 74 Rapid City. Also coming in at 74, that is Chamberlain and Winter. But we do have some 80s out there. 81 in Aberdeen and 83 towards Sisseton. If you've been West River today, it's been a pretty calm morning and afternoon winds around five to ten miles per hour of a variable direction but east of the james river it's been a little breezy and i do mean a little bit at 10 to 15 miles per hour but it's been a cooler west by northwesterly wind and with high pressure very much in control even though it's centered down to our south and west 
that's been more than enough to keep things very quiet and very pleasant as well. But that grip is going to loosen as we head into the day on Wednesday. That being said, the further east you go, the better your day is tomorrow. Low 80s, plenty of sunshine with increasing cloudiness later in the evening, a light southerly breeze developing. Meanwhile, to the northeast, more the same low to at times mid 80s, a little more cloud cover, a little more of a breeze, but still not all that bad. It's once you head to central and western parts of Kelo land that things do start to unravel a little bit more. We'll watch the potential for some showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening, and a few of those storms could pack an extra punch. We'll talk about that and the rest of your seven day forecast all as we head through the hour. All right, thanks a lot, Adam. A public safety bill with two major gun control measures is now heading to Minnesota Governor Tim Walz's desk after being approved by the legislature. As May Murphy with our CBS affiliate in Minneapolis reports. It, you know, frankly should have happened a lot sooner. Sammy Rahameen was just 17 in 2012 when his father, Reuven, was one of six people shot and killed at the family's Accent Signage offices in Minneapolis. It's gratifying to see uh, 10 legislative sessions after my first time testifying at the state capitol uh, to see some real progress being made. Sammy is also the communications director for the Jewish Community Relations Council and works with Jewish groups around the country to prevent gun violence. Jewish Americans experience gun violence both as the targets of anti-Semitic attacks and as everyday citizens in America. Moms Demand Action Minnesota has campaigned for years for gun control measures like the ones being debated. For Molly Loitz, it's been a long but very worthwhile road. I'm, I'm really relieved. It has felt urgent for a long time. Uh, for our volunteers. We reached out to half a dozen gun shops seeking comment from those who don't support the changes but were turned down. It's not because of people with guns, it's ignorant people with guns. But one gun owner we spoke to outside a Robbinsdale gun range says the proposed laws infringe on his rights. So thinking someone is a threat in the red flat law and they're able to come seize your firearms, I don't think that's fair. Especially, you know, as far as the Second Amendment right, I feel like that's violating my Second Amendment right. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, who often describes himself as a proud gun owner who favors gun control measures, has said that he will sign the bills. Key negotiators working on legislation to legalize recreational cannabis in Minnesota reached a final deal today. The legislation is the culmination of 30 committees, hours of testimony, and several changes to the bill over the course of this legislative session. The final deal will legalize weed for recreational use in Minnesota, but also allow for new state licensed businesses that will grow, manufacture, and sell at dispensaries. When the compromise bill gets to the floor, it's an up or down vote. No further amendments can be added. Opponents of legalizing marijuana have long raised concerns about public safety. Law enforcement is worried about how they can determine if someone is actively under the influence behind the wheel. Minnesota's cannabis proposal would establish a pilot program to find a test. Nebraska lawmakers are set to take up a debate tonight on a plan that would tack on a 12-week abortion ban to a bill that would ban a gender-affirming care for transgender minors. Technically, lawmakers are slated to take up the final round of the debate on the trans health bill. But because legislative rules don't allow amendments to be attached to bills in the final round, lawmakers will debate whether to send the bill back for a second round of debate in order to add the abortion amendment. Opponents of the move plan to filibuster for the entire two hours of debate allowed in the final reading of the bill. If the plan fails, both the abortion and trans health measures will be shelved for the year.